everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, we finally come to the very last quest in Act 6. And you're going to get to see the Grandmaster fight. But first, let's take a look at the path that I chose. Uh, you can see there, opportunistic. And the main difficulty on this path is going to be that tenacity. Uh, there's not many difficult defenders on this path. I consider this path to be the easiest. Uh, so you can see the buffs there. That tenacity is the one that you're going to have to be careful with. Uh, the reason that I chose this path, uh, I use Ghost. So tenacity doesn't really affect me all that much. Also, I'm used to fighting Agent Venom. So even with tenacity, you, if you're fast enough, you can actually uh, get your attack in um, before the tenacity kicks in. But if you have someone like Ghost, you see that I got lucky. Um, but if you have Ghost, you have no problem. But any champion can do this path. You just have to be aware that with tenacity, if you try to parry, stun them, they're going to shrug that off more than likely. So if you parry them and attack very quickly, you should be able to get in there. All right, so uh, this first fight against uh, Phoenix, again, not a difficult defender here. All right, the only thing with Phoenix is her signature ability. And if you're not careful, which sometimes I forget, I get too aggressive towards the end, and if you hit her, and she gets that right of the Phoenix, she's gonna attack instantly. She becomes extremely aggressive. All right, so let's see how I handle this here. You'll see I'm not firing off that uh, special just yet because I know better, okay? So just trying to get her down here. All right, and one more hit should do it should trigger her uh there we go all right so now that i've done that i can go ahead and fire off my special three if i want to um one thing that you want to be aware of with phoenix in case you're not used to fighting her uh if you can bait out her specials before she gets right of the phoenix it will reduce the amount of healing that she will do when she does get it okay so bear that in mind uh that's what you saw me doing a little bit there uh in case you were wondering all right so there we go phoenix is down not too difficult of a fight at all and as again you can do this with any champion all right now, next up, we've got Heimdall. Again, not a difficult fight uh, to deal with. Now, Heimdall is also somewhat annoying. What you want to do is bait out that special one. And because we're fighting against uh, the computer here, not a player, this Heimdall does not have the... Um, parry mastery so after the special one just go ahead and attack and if they you know auto block you're not going to get parry stunned that's what usually makes him pretty annoying uh to fight elsewhere when you're fighting someone that has the parry mastery but you see here look at that it's an auto block i could have continued to hit into the auto block uh, if I needed to, you know, get a little distance or build up some space, you know, in case he had backed me up uh, into the corner. Uh, but otherwise, you're pretty safe. Now, you don't want to uh, push him to a special two if you can help it. All right. See, I got lucky there. The computer is not making me pay for some of the mistakes uh, that I was making here. That tenacity uh, can be tricky because I'll sometimes forget. And, you know, muscle memory, 
I'll parry, go in, they shrug it off, and if they do it a little bit quicker than I'm expecting, or I went a little bit slower, I can end up uh, in a very vulnerable state. All right, but other than that, he's not difficult either. Uh, that's why I chose this path. Tenacity is not that difficult. You see here, I was hitting into the block to uh, push him back a little bit, give myself some uh, space. Uh, but tenacity, easy to play around. Uh, any champion can really do it. Uh, so if you take that path, you're free to bring in you know, a couple of champions for the Grandmaster fight. Now, uh, something I want to let you guys know, the Grandmaster fight in this video is not gonna be the full fight. That's a long fight. This video would be uh, over an hour long. So what I'm gonna do, you know, I'm showing you the path that I took uh, up to the fight. Then I'm going to show you highlights of the Grandmaster fight. Then, later, I'm going to release just the Grandmaster fight alone. So that you'll be able to see the entire fight. And, you know, I'll talk a little bit uh, about the fight in the beginning. And then just let you see what I had to deal with. Okay? Um, but here we are, group, again, not a difficult, uh, person to fight here. Uh, group, he, he reduces, uh, his debuffs, you know, when you debuff him. So he already, he doesn't have tenacity, so he can't shrug it off, but he has a reduced timer. So that combined with tenacity, you just have to keep that in mind. And uh, you see how um, the tenacity got him to shrug it off. But just bear that in mind, and it's a very, very straightforward uh, and easy fight. You know, I remember fighting Groot way back when. And I forget, but I think it was Map 3. And he was like the first mini boss, I think. And he was the reason a lot of us didn't want to do that map because he wrecked us. We didn't know how to fight him. We didn't have great counters. We knew that Mystics did best. The people that were able to solo him, they had uh, Scarlet Witch. They had uh, Doctor Strange. This is before he was nerfed. And they did fine. I had to look up some videos to see how to even fight this group. And I did okay. I didn't have Scarlet Witch. Um, I didn't have Doctor Strange. Um, I forget who I used uh, against him. There was no Doctor Voodoo. Uh, and I forget who I used. Uh, but he is so easy now. You know, one of the easier uh, folks to fight. All right, so here we are fighting one of the more difficult defenders. And you see there, he hit into my block, and I have an armor break on me now. And he's not letting up, all right? And I'm just like, wow. All right, I pushed, uh, I went to a special three. I really wanted to hit up, uh, hit him with that special two, but I was trying to wait until the armor break wore off. It had, but I didn't notice. But I hate fighting him. He is very, very annoying. Okay, uh, you can follow up after his special one, provided you don't get hit by it. You see here, um, we're getting our rhythm back after we got mauled by him. Okay, and uh, we're doing okay. You know, we're getting him. We're getting him down. We don't want to push him to a special two. Uh, I don't know how to evade his special two completely. Okay, don't know. So. I'd rather avoid it. All right, here we go. And he's hurt. He's hurt here. And we're still going. Okay, getting him there. Just have to follow that up. And boom, down. 
So we got mauled, wrecked in the beginning, but we made a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. So next fight is Hella. Now, something I noticed, even though these are not difficult defenders, they usually have something. You know, now, uh, you got Annihilus. He is a difficult defender. But the other ones that we fought so far, they're straightforward, but they often have something. Something that you have to deal with. Hella is no different. She's an easy champion to fight, but she's got that cheat death mechanic. Same thing with Phoenix, cheat death mechanic. Okay? So they usually have something that makes them annoying. Uh, Brute, you know, he has the reduced timer on his debuffs, and combine that with the tenacity can make him, you know, a little annoying, but nothing you can't play around. So if you're taking this path, Annihilus, you want to bring someone to deal with that Annihilus. And Mystic Champions work very well. If you don't have Ghost, bring in a Mystic Champion. Uh, Dr. Voodoo works very well. Uh, Symbiote Supreme is an excellent counter for uh, Annihilus. He will remove that buff from him instantly, uh, right at the start of the fight. Do a little damage to him and then you can just go ahead and wreck him all right so you have a few options for annihilus even though he's really annoying to fight all right so you saw there we got her down she got her cheat death but we waited it out and then attacked took her down and we are on to the next fight all right this one is going to be vision arcus now vision arcus ghost can do this fight all right ghost can do the fight you have to keep in mind that the closer and the longer you are close to him he's going to put an armor break on you okay so i decided to go in here with uh dr voodoo which as you can see proved to be a little bit of a mistake okay see all that damage that i'm taking here okay uh should not have done that, but it is what it is. Um, this fight's not going to go too well, as you can see here. Uh, but we're game. I don't know how to evade that special, too. I really don't. Uh, and so he just ripped me up. And so at this point, I'm like, wow. My boy, Dr. Voodoo. Can't believe that happened to him. But my fault. All right, so again, Ghost can do it. As you can see, you just have to keep backing off. Don't stay close to him. Uh, I was just trying to give Voodoo a chance, you know, instead of uh, doing this all with Ghost here. Uh, but like I said, I just messed up. All right, and with Ghost, as you can see, just got to stay away from him. Uh, I remember when he first came out, folks were thinking that he was going to be you know, a ghost killer. And you see right there, that was me. I pushed him to a special two. Uh, I tried to phase out the special two, but the AI will time it so that you're going to get hit either block or something. All right. But you can see that she can do it just fine. Uh, you just have to play it smart. Not like I did that one. Don't push him to a special two. Do one hit combos and stay away from him, all right? So you can see that the timer, it resets. So just do, you know, quick attacks, in and out, one hit combo, all right? Fire off the special two, one hit combos, and that's all you wanna do if you're fighting with Ghost. If you're fighting with someone else, um, just keep in mind uh, the nodes that you're gonna have to deal with, all right, and you see he got me into the corner here. I pushed him to his special three because I figured I could take that one phased out. But then he was so close, I just said I can finish him off with a special one. I don't normally fire off my special one because you can't uh, um, phase your recoil like you can with the special two. But in that case, it was going to be the finishing blow, so I went ahead and did it. 
All right, now we're fighting Carnage. And he is pretty straightforward to fight. Uh, don't get hit. Don't get that bleed on you. Um, but if you're going to go against him with someone other than Ghost, choose a bleed immune champion. Uh, it'll just make your life a little bit easier. If you make a mistake, uh, you won't have to worry about, you know, that crazy bleed damage. And then he'll get the power gain, um, unblockable attacks and all that. Um, but uh, other than that, he is a pretty simple uh, champion to fight here. His special one and his special two are easy to evade. Uh, you want to give yourself enough room to evade that special two. It eats up a lot of ground. So if you're backed up into the corner, you want to um, be careful. All right. But down he went without too much difficulty at all. And you may notice that I'm not really healing up my ghost. She doesn't really need it. Uh, you shouldn't be taking a lot of damage if you're playing her correctly. Um, but of course I make mistakes and so I take some damage, but she does very well just on a 20% revive. All right, now we gotta fight Captain Marvel movie. Now, Captain Marvel movie can be annoying, especially that special one. Uh, sometimes her special one, she'll wait till you evade back and can't um, recover. Otherwise, I find her special one easy to evade. But if she fires it off right as I dash back, that's annoying. But Ghost, of course, if you time it just right, you can phase it out. See, like right there, she waited until I was out of phase, but I was ready for it. Okay? Um, I don't want to push her to her special two either because I don't know how to evade her special two completely. Uh, it is evadable, I've done it, but when I've done it, it's been by mistake. So I know it's possible, I just need to practice it a bit more. And there, I was just a little slow with that um, dash back, I don't know, um, it happens. So I'm just like, all right, let's uh, let Ghost rest a little bit. And let's bring in my boy, the hood. All right. And he shouldn't have too much difficulty just finishing her off. You know, uh, when I took him up to um, rank five, people were like, wow, really? Why? Because I'm always, you know, got him on the team. And see, all I was trying to do right there was to try and bait out her special. But she started, the AI started doing some stutter moves and hesitatings and all kind of other stuff trying to throw me off and so I'm like okay I know what you're playing at I'm just gonna wait it out I still got hit a little bit by the special one but we took her down um, now Angela Angela is not difficult to fight but you need to remember that Angela especially an awakened Angela um, has a nullification uh, resistance all right, she's very um, resistant to having her buffs nullified when she's awakened. All right, so bear that in mind when you go up against her. If you're planning on using a champion that nullifies uh, buffs, you can still use them. Just keep in mind that they may not nullify them reliably. And down goes the hood. Right after I said that Angela wasn't difficult and you see here i was surprised because i forgot about that aggression fury on this node okay we hadn't been dealing with it and so i'm sitting here playing a little bit more passively than i normally would she built up furies and wrecked me and i was like oh yeah you want to check the node like we we had the nodes all the way through but this last one this is the last fight it's like a little mini boss the one that's giving everyone else on the path their buffs check that node you see she had aggression fury which no one else on the path did and because i did not check that's what happened okay so 
I made the mistake so that you don't have to. All right, so other than that, you know, you want to be aggressive, obviously. Uh, when you're not aggressive, you saw what can happen. All right, so now we're just chopping down this tree. She's buffy, you know, quite buffed up here. And uh, Ghost can handle it, no problem. Now that I know that there's Aggression Fury, I'm not going to let her build that up again. All right, here we go. And right now we're just building up to that special two. You know, I'm letting her miss a few times. Now my ghost at this time is Max Sig, finally. Took a while because I don't purchase those um, offers for Sig Stones. It took a long time for me to max out her Sig but she is maxed out now all right you saw i pushed it to a special three but that's because i knew i was going to go for it and i was going to phase anyway just in case all right so that is it oh wait 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 okay one more fight one last fight before the uh final boss uh for some reason i thought that was the final one but i believe she is like the uh mini boss Okay, so this fight here, as you can see, was just an annoyance. All right, moving on, as I said. Uh, that's why I didn't remember him. He was nothing. All right, so on to the Grandmaster fight. All right, this is finally the last fight of Act 6, the Grandmaster. I have not attempted it before. This is my initial clear. And I've watched a few fights, so I know kind of what to expect, but knowing and actually being able to do it, two very different things. Uh, this fight looks fun, but it also looks long. And for me, that's usually um, not fun when it's really long, but this fight looks interesting and we're gonna attempt it. Now, I have never used any units for any act and i don't plan to start now uh, so before we start let me show you guys what i'm working with here as far as my inventory and you'll see how many revives i have okay so i have nine level one revives and 17 level two, one level one. Uh, I've already claimed the free revives that uh, Kabam gave us. That is what I was doing pretty much all day, uh, going through each of the other quests using revives there. And this is what I have left. And if this is not enough, and I don't have any health potions. I didn't farm up any, but take a look here at my crystals. So in the crystals, you know, we get some free crystals. We get four hour crystals uh, and we get uh, daily crystals. In those crystals, you can get revives and health potions. So take a look here. I have 1,071 free Cavalier crystals. This is why I hoard these for challenges like this. I'm not gonna use any units. If I use up all of the revives and everything, I have this. And let's take a look at my four hour ones. Seems like my crystals are all over the place. Did I pass them? I guess I passed them. Uh, I wish they would get that sort right. There we go. It's right above it. Don't mind me. Uh, I have 351 of these. All right. So take a look here. All right. So you've got level one revives in there, as you saw, and level two revives and level three health potions. That's in these free crystals. And we've got here, 
All right, we've got a bunch of these guys here and you can see what you can get out of these crystals as well. So that's the secret to not using units. I'm gonna end up using items for sure. There will be no one shot, two shot. Uh, I may even break my record. When I went up against the collector, I used uh, my initial clear. I used about 20, 20 to 25 level one revives on just the collector. I used a rank four daredevil. Uh, this guy, who knows how long it's going to take me to actually uh, get used to the fight and get this guy down. But we're going to give it a try. All right, so without further ado, let's do it. All right, so as you can see, I actually recorded that last segment as I was doing this particular quest. All right, that's why you see I was wearing a different shirt. Uh, the lighting was different and all that good stuff. All right, but this, if you want to just fast forward or skip ahead uh, to the Grandmaster fight, you can. Uh, but what I'm doing here is I'm just showing you the buffs ahead of time. And we're also going to look at the Grandmaster himself and his abilities. So about this fight. Basically you have to pay attention to these prompts. So you're gonna see during the fight, he's gonna ban and he has different phases. It's, it's a pretty interesting fight. There's a lot going on. I was learning all of that for the first time as I was doing it. I've only done it once, so I'm not really clear on everything. Uh, but he has different phases and in uh, his earlier phases, he's going to ban certain actions. All right, so he'll ban medium attack. So that means you cannot do a medium attack or else you're going to get this blunder. You don't want to get blunders. You get too many of them, you're going to die. All right, so uh, you want to pay attention to the prompts. That's one of the reasons that I didn't necessarily like this fight because there was so much going on. But once you get used to it, it's not that bad. Uh, any champion can actually do this fight. Uh, this is a very skill-based fight. Uh, some champions do better. Uh, you're going to see my MVP for this was Captain America Infinity War. But if you have a champion that does a dot on their... Um, I think they're basic attacks or heavies or anything like that. Uh, they do uh, very well, but any champion can actually do this fight. Um, at this point in time, several people have gotten solos on this fight. Uh, it doesn't take them as long as it's going to take me uh, for my first time through here. But the fight is not that bad. It really isn't. Uh, like I said earlier, I don't like long fights. So the fight, the fact that it was long already biased me against it. Um, but what you're going to see is not the fight in its entirety. I mentioned this earlier in the video. I'm only going to show you highlights. So you'll see my initial um, attempts until I switch over to Captain America Infinity War. Then I'm going to show you just highlights like uh, one of my better runs and then show you the final run but what we're gonna do is the day after this video comes out you will have another video that is just the Grandmaster fight uncut unedited you'll get to see me learning the ropes messing up working my way through it and finally you know, getting him down. Okay, so uh, don't worry about this because this video is already uh, pretty long, uh, longer than I, I like to make these videos. Uh, and that fight, that fight, uh, I'm not sure how long the actual fighting was, but the video itself was about an hour. Uh, the fighting would have been less because, of course, there were times where I paused uh, in the fight, you know, and just, you know, caught my breath 
and that sort of thing. So that's what you're going to see uh, in a moment here when we get done. Just the highlights of the fight. And then you can expect the full fight uh, tomorrow from when you see this. All right. Let's see some of the highlights of the Grandmaster fight. Now, first, what you're going to notice is that I go in here with Wasp. Uh, I did that because I'm unfamiliar with the fight. And so this is my way of just trying to get familiar. All right, so I want you to watch. See on the right-hand side of the screen, light attacks band, parry band. You have to watch for those things. And when light attacks are banned, you can't use them or else you blunder. And you saw that I was getting those blunders on me. Uh, same thing with parry, medium attack. All right. When you successfully uh, meet that challenge, then it'll go on to the next one. Now, this special one, you see it caught me. Uh, if you look up top, you'll see three icons. Those icons indicate what you have to do in order to get this done successfully. All right. Um, so you get to watch his uh, special three. Uh, I went ahead and left that, you know, just because it's a pretty cool special three. All right. But in any case, you have to get familiar with those icons so that you'll know what you need to do for the... Um, special one attack provided you evaded it successfully i didn't evade it successfully but you'll see I, I catch on but it takes me a little bit especially when there's prompts that i have to read and i'm trying to fight and read you know doesn't do too well okay so you see here he just started hitting me i don't know why um and again this first part here you can see miss failed so don't rely on ghosts uh you know phase you see he just took me out uh i was not familiar and so i was thinking that i was going to do ghost style and you see what ghost style got me all right so ghost was great to get up here she can do the fight you just need to know what you're doing all right so you can see on the left competence you see light attacks banned okay so you see now i'm doing mediums mediums parry is banned so now i can't parry so i've got to intercept okay so you see here you can bait out his heavies all that good stuff now tactics are unbanned he fires a special uh, one that first icon you have to evade second one you have to take the hit um the shield one means you block it okay so that's what the three icons uh, mean and you'll see them there and they come in different orders so when they fire the special one you have to glance up there see the order and then do what they are indicating you do so again it's a it's a very skill based fight and that's why you can do it with anyone but you have to be familiar with the fight I'm learning this as I go all right so what you are seeing here is me learning uh, some of the uh, challenges you have to hit into the block. All right, so here we go. Dexterity is uh, banned, so I can't dex. All right, and here we go. All right, see up there? So I have to evade that one, take a hit, and then block. And you see I messed up. Because at this point in time, I'm not familiar with those enough to, you know, know what I needed to do instinctively. But again, you know, I got much better uh, since this initial uh, fight, even though I haven't fought him again, that's the, you know, practice that I got. This fight lasted a long time, but I got through it, and now I'm much more uh, familiar with the prompts, with the icons. Uh, when I see those icons, it's much easier for me. Um, I, you'll see towards the end of the fight, I get much better at um you know reading those icons all right so this next one i don't know how many revives uh i used when i post the video of the entire fight someone can go through and count up the revives 
I don't really feel like it, but I, I know I used a lot. I used a lot of revives on this. Still no units. All right, so here we are. There we go, light attacks are banned. So now I have to do mediums, you know. You know, I can still parry at this point. And he just wrecked me because I'm not familiar with his uh, animations at this point. Okay, so I'm trying to change up my play style and getting familiar with his animations. All right, especially as heavy. All right, so here we go. Yeah, that heavy, you know, I'm, I got used to it eventually. All right, and uh, you see here, I'm just trying to get, build it up. I don't do it. See all the blunders? And that's it. You know, you could, you could forget it. When, once I had that many blunders on me, I said, never mind. All right, so fast forward, as you can see by his health, um, I fast forward to another uh, attempt, and you can see I'm doing a little bit better here. I'm in a different phase. Okay, now I need to gain a buff. All right, got that. No problem. You can gain a buff by just dexing. All right, perform an intercept. Boom, got that. Pretty straightforward. All right, um, with an attack. So you wait till he's far, um, you know, far enough away, and then you basically just attack in the air. All right. Now, right there. Okay, boom. Got the whip. All right. So that's pretty much what you do. And you see how I'm doing much better here. So you, you know, I had to evade the last two competence and uh, inflict the damage effect. That's when I fire the special one off because that puts a bleed on him. But if you have a champion that does it anyway, you don't have to worry about it. Land a critical. You just have to attack and uh, you get that critical. Now he's wounded. At this point, you go ham. Look at those damage numbers. This is where you do your big boy damage to him. Now, if you have Aegon, you know, he's like a little cheat code for this fight. But that's what you do. You build up those competence, and eventually he's going to go into that wounded state, and then you're going to do crazy damage to him. And that's pretty much the fight. Uh, you'll, we'll get to the, the ending phase, uh, in a little bit, because right here, this one is still pretty decent, but the most difficult phase for me was the reverse control. And the way the timer worked out with the reverse controls, you were not going to get him in a wounded state unless you successfully passed the, you know, reverse controls portion of that fight. You know, once you got that done, got those challenges done, then you had to do, you know, once they were back to normal, you did like, I think one more challenge and then he went wounded. Um, I hated that phase. And I know a lot of people, that is the phase that gives them the most difficulty, especially on their first initial clear. All right, so you see here, you see all the damage I'm doing? All right, he's not wounded anymore. There we go. All right, so I gotta block it, evade it, and take the hit. All right, easy. But once you are familiar with it, all right, so this here is a good showcase of this phase. And you can see that I've gotten, you know, much better at doing this phase here. But it was a hard earned education. Let me tell you, you'll see it. Uh, all right, so we're just trying to get him down and I believe coming up I make a mistake um, Let me see take the hit. Okay um, Got that one. All right with an attack. So I yep. There we go and We're just trying to get him perform an intercept All right, here we go Boom try and get him again. Nope. That was what happens. I tried to do an intercept to finish that challenge messed up now I've got all those blunders, okay, and it, you know, basically I messed up. He's wounded right here. I'm doing some good damage, so, you know, it's not a complete waste, but, you know, we went down. Uh, getting all those blunders just meant I was doing less damage than I could have, uh, for one thing. All right, so now, fast forward again, we're at the final, almost the final phase. We've gotten past... Um, a lot of the mess, okay? 
So you see here, strike is blocked. So we have to wait, okay, it's there. Challenge successful, all right? We're trying to get him down to that 1%, all right? Stand still, that's a difficult one, all right? We got it. <laughs> uh, so you just have to keep an eye on those challenges, all right? Now knock him down. You just have to fire off your heavy or a special, whatever, get him down, okay? And here we go again. All right, evade, take the hit, block. So once you're familiar with those icons, you'll do much better, okay? So once we get him to the next uh, wounded phase, uh, we should be able to get him down pretty good, all right? So here we go. Look at that, just lots of damage. That's when you get the big boy damage, but we didn't get him quite uh, to that 1%. All right, so there we go, challenge successful. All right, and here we go, block it, take the hit, block it. You notice that those are different each time. They're, they're somewhat random, but you have to do them in order. All right, here we go, we have to do a back dash. Um, sometimes the back dash is annoying. There we go, we got it, but then he did that. Very annoying, doing the back dash I was able to successfully do it, but then he fired off his special before I could recover. All right, this one was knocked me down. I had a special three, why not? Okay, so knocked him down, challenge successful, and we're still trying to get him, just trying to get him uh, to that wounded state again. All right, strike into his block, there we go. Another challenge successful, and he got it. I was trying to bait out the special one, but you know, you mess up. The fight has gone on a pretty long time at this point, and I am fatigued. My mind is already wandering all over the place, but I can smell blood at this point. But what you're gonna see, I do make mistakes because again, my focus is not quite there. All right, so here we go. Now, also in this phase, I don't know if you saw it, but you saw um, he was infuriated. So you want to back away from him because in that phase, his attacks are unblockable. So you just back away from him. It lasts, I forget how long, you know, but it's not that long. It's like maybe six seconds, something like that. All right. Once you have it done, then you can go back to business as usual. All right. So we're completing challenges again. Strike is blocked. Wait until he put it up. There we go. And I think you only need a four hit uh, combo. And now he's taking me and he went to his special two. You do not want to push him to his special two. Even blocking the special two hurts a lot. As you can see, devastating, all right? So special two, no. I don't know anybody that can evade it yet. Uh, I would just rather not push him to it. All right, so we just got one more percent, one percent more, and the final phase, the final phase is easy and difficult at the same time, and you'll see why I'm laughing uh, when we get to it. All right, so business as usual. We're trying to uh, get these challenges done so that he can go into a wounded uh, state, all right? But you can still do damage. You're still doing damage. It's just that he has a lot of health. All right. So that 1% takes a while. All right. Here we go. All right. Block it. Dash. Take the hit. All right. And there we go. Strike his block. Put it up. One, two, three, four. Challenge successful. We're good. All right. Wait for the next challenge. All right. Stand still. But that's not the time you want to stand still. All right. Block. Dash take it all right and we go in for the attack here all right and there we go we got uh, uh, that challenge which is sometimes difficult and then he got me the reverse controls oh do I hate reversed controls um, but you can see we were you know we were getting used to it we we're getting used to it but we still did not push him where we needed to push him. All right, so 
he's still not in that final phase. 2%. But remember what I told you about that uh, reverse controls thing. Okay. Now, if I had Aegon and he was all loaded up, um, we would do a little bit better there. All right. So now he's at 1%. All of his attacks are unblockable. You just have to stay away from him for a while. And boom. I forgot that that final phase. And I remember seeing a, a video where that was the case. Um, he's unstoppable. He's unblockable. You basically stay away from him. Um, I think I went for an intercept because I thought that an intercept will um, will take away, at least is unstoppable. I can't remember. All right. So you'll see here. Boom. I thought I was slick. I forgot. See how long the fight has gone on? That I already forgot that I can't do that with Ghost. You saw what I tried to do. Tried to phase and then sit pretty. Doesn't work. All right, so I'm just like, oh man, I don't believe I did that. Just wasted a revive. But I'm tired. And again, still have not used any units. This is all from my stash, okay? So I'm looking here and I'm like, you know, I wanna get a little bit more health just in case I get, you know, clipped by him. So this is the easiest phase, but also can be pretty difficult. All right, so see here, you wanna stay away. I'm staying away from him. You know, not even trying to hit into his block. Just trying to stay away. Timer's down and it's over. Once that timer, once you stayed away, you saw how easy that looked, but yet I still was getting wrecked. But once that happens, fire off a special, he's done. That's, that's all you have to do for that final phase, okay? So that is Act 6 completed. Again, that wasn't the total fight, but coming up next video uh, tomorrow, you will see the uh, total fight. And at this time, you've already seen my opening from this. Uh, I posted it up. If you haven't seen it, take a look at it on the channel. Now, I'm mad at myself because this choice here, for T T5 class ca uh, catalyst, beware, plan ahead. I actually watched Rich the Man warn us and I still forgot. So I didn't know what I wanted to choose. I didn't know how many I had. I hadn't opened any of my other crystals to see which one I got the most of so that I could stack it a little bit. So I just ended up, I believe, choosing Mutant. I can't remember, I think I chose Mutant because I already took Omega Red to rank two. So I figured may as well, you know, it is what it is, I don't know. Now, something else a little bit funny is that in watching all of these uh, rewards, I didn't know that I got 18,000 six star shards. I've already done that opening as well. That's on the channel, but I'm looking through here and I actually had to come back and look at this video because I was surprised at the uh, shards that I had for my six stars. See, I'm going through all of this. I looked right there at the five stars. See, I scrolled over. You know, I'm looking at all of these, all of these, and I just skipped right past it. Look, I'm looking at the T5 basics and I'm just like, wow, and I missed the six star shards, all right? But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. I'm sorry it was a little bit long, but click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.